Circle collapsed imminent. Get to safety. In the probably hundreds of Battle Royale games we've got now of varying quality, the new kid on the block is obviously Blackout, and we're going to put that up against the like the big kid, I guess, of Fortnite. That's like still the incredible, huge success that it is. But now that Blackout's out, and we've had a, a few days to play it, and like you and I have been playing it a bit in the office, I think it's worth have, talking yeah. about how it compares, who it might be for, if there's some you know, stark Fortnite fans, should they actually make a leap and try a different battle royale experience. So have you found it so far? Have you found Blackout? I've really enjoyed it actually. Mm. Um, I played a bunch of different battle royale games and straight away I felt like I was, I hit the ground running uh, thanks to it being a Call of Duty game. If you've played a Call of Duty game, which most people have, yeah. you can probably get on with this a bit easier than Fortnite where you have to learn to build and you know, shooting's not quite the same as in other games. So there's a lot more to learn. Whereas in Call of Duty, while it is a bit complicated at the start with like the item menu. The attachments and, and filling yeah, and all that. There's still a lot going on. There's, there is some depth there, but I definitely felt like it was easier to get into and, and start you know, getting in the top tiers of the, the ranking and not just die all the time. It's that classic Call of Duty thing, right? It's it's happy in its placement as the like arcade shooter now, right? It's kind of it's separated itself from the old Battlefield versus COD argument where Battlefield went down the street group. Call of Duty is happy to sit in the, the like the arcade sphere and it's brought that 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 flavour, that feel to, to Battle Royale. I feel like it exists like there's a spectrum of Battle Royale games. Let's say uh, let's say the far strategic one is like PUBG. Yeah. And then all the way on the arcade side is uh, Blackout. And then somewhere in the middle, Fortnite exists. It's got, that Fortnite's got a mixture of strategy and uh, like the movement's very arcade, the shooting's quite arcadey. And then the strategy comes in with like what you're building, mm. and, like this, the speed in which you're building and what items to use. Now, the, the first thing I noticed really is I hadn't really realized that. I hadn't played a Battle Royale game in first person in a long time. Being in first person feels a lot more intense. You're that much closer to the action and you lose things like being able to see over a wall. Because you're first person only, I felt like I could get much more into the sort of headspace of I am in a Battle Royale. I felt very much like it was me there rather than my stupid Fortnite character <laughs> with a llama around his waist. Um, so it definitely felt like I was I was thinking more strategically because of that. I was I was putting myself in the situation and thinking, I have to survive. Yeah. Um, and I, I took it way more seriously than I would with like Fortnite where you do drop in a map to survive, but there's also a lot of silly stuff to do. Um, whereas in Blackout it's like I have to survive, I have to try and stay till the end. And I found I was like camping more or hiding more and I wasn't just like running in and shooting people, I was thinking of more about my life than I would in other Battle Royale games. So that's something I've struggled with Call of Duty. I find because because it's a COD game, right, I automatically get into that Call of Duty man mindset that I used to have when I used to play all the time, where it's jump in, run and gun, play aggressive, super aggressive, fight, 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 fight. And you can't do that here. You'll, mm. you'll get yourself killed. You do have to, like I did have to slow down my, my thought process and be like, okay, maybe I shouldn't run into this building. Like it's it's not multiplayer. To win a battle royale, not everyone's gonna be able to. So it's important that you that the game rewards you for playing in, in other ways. It needs to be fun even if you're not getting the top squad or the top place, which I think Blackout is doing pretty well. So another big part of Battle Royales is obviously the map, mm. because typically Battle Royale games usually only have one. There's one in Fortnite, there's one in Blackout. 
PUBG has like two or three, three yeah. which they've added gradually. Um, but how did you find the map initially dropping in? The maps in Battle Royale games are hugely important. What I've enjoyed about Blackout's map is, like I said, it's, it's like the, the marriage of a lot of like Call of Duty parts, right? There's there's familiar areas like like the Nuke Town is like mm. nods to the old Nuke Town maps, um, like Asylums a nod to the old Zombies map. There's bits of it that feel familiar, even if like the layouts change. Like the flavor of it is is recognizable. I think yeah, it's it's definitely not. It, it does have diversity. And it is cool when you stumble upon like a zombies area and you hear that that sort of the noise from the yeah the zombies. Wa new wave noise and stuff. yeah 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 um, but that does at least make it a bit more interesting but yeah it'll be interesting to see how the map evolves because yeah. obviously in Fortnite it's constantly changing um, like complete sections of the map have totally changed uh, events happen in the map we've not really seen that in Blackout I mean granted it's only been yeah. out under a week, so there's not much but we I can think, say. Yet. I think Blackout needs to bear that in mind, though. Yeah, for saying. sure. Um, like you say, with Fortnite, it'll, it, the, there'll be big changes with like a new season, or there'll be gradual changes. Like when the, um, the meteor hit Tilted Towers, week on week, the the towers will start to, to rebuild, and that would add like a little a little twist to when you're when you're fighting there. With Fortnite, I have like my favorite drops, but depending on what season it is what's happening on the map, like if they've added a new vehicle, yeah. you get a different experience. If, if Blackout's doing it smart, they'll, they'll bear that in mind. But one thing they have added, which is it's important to add areas for new players. Mm. So if you're not familiar with the game, you can go somewhere a little bit quieter. So I think if you're starting out, like pick somewhere quiet to familiarize yourself with the inventory. And then my favorite thing to do to actually like kind of practice and get good at the game is drop like busy areas, like constantly. Like the firing squad, that sort of thing. Yeah, like the way I got, um, I don't wanna say good, but okay at Fortnite, is I was dropping Tilted Towers like every drop for a whole day until I could competently shoot. That's mayhem. Yeah, but like it's <laughs> it's jumping right into the deep end, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's sink or swim and I think to get good at a battle royale game, you, you can't just like pussyfoot around. You need to, to learn it and get stuck in. It is, it is nice though that, you, like you mentioned, there are familiar areas like asylum, like estates, um, which I didn't realize were in the game until I was walking around. I was like, I recognize this place. Yeah. Uh, so that's quite cool. It's almost like a greatest hits tour of the Call of Duty franchise. And I wonder if, you know, potentially if they do Blackout again, are we going to get more of that? So I think that's quite an interesting idea of not seen done in a game like this before. So yeah. I'm excited to see what they do and if they keep it fresh, because that's, that's the most important thing for me. One thing is that's super important for Battle Royale games is, is its longevity. There mm. needs to be something to keep players Playing. So I think the rewards and how the game like respects your time mm. is super important. I, um, I I love it when a game is like, here's shiny new things that you can buy with real money or earn in in-game currency. Uh, so I'm a sucker for that sort of thing. And not, that's not everyone's cup of tea, but for me, that does genuinely keep me coming back to a game. I have to say, it is my biggest disappointment so far with Blackout because mm. I've played probably 60 or 70 games I've been gradually earning merit, which you get from staying alive for a long time, killing people. And granted, that is based a lot down to player skill, but I don't feel like it's rewarding me at all. Like yeah. you, you, the more merit you get, the more echelon levels you go up. And there are skins to unlock at like level 20 and 40. Um, but other than that, I've not felt like I'm getting anything in return for my time other than a fun game to play. Yeah. Um, and there are some secret like other skins you can unlock by doing certain challenges, which looking looking at them, they're very difficult. There's some people that, n that need a reward to get enjoyment out of it, and that's completely <laughs> fine. Like, I'm, I'm the same, like, I'm really competitive and I enjoy most Battle Royale games when, when I win. Um, but not, like we said before, in a 100 player game, 99 people are gonna lose. Mm. But they still need to find enjoyment. There are gonna be people out there that want those little, like, there's small victories, let's say. And Fortnite obviously does that really well. It's it's free to play and you will get some stuff playing free, but if you invest in a battle pass, then you get like 
all sorts of wonderful stuff. Mm. And with, with the challenges as well, that adds, adds an extra layer of play and that rewards you with battle pass bonuses and you un unlock more stuff. Mm. But with Blackout, it's, yeah, it's, it's a struggle to find that enjoyment, like find those small victories. That, that lack of kind of like, hey, hey, thanks for playing, here's something cool. Especially when it's a full priced game that like you've bought Call yeah. of Duty. I think like that would just be nice to see because at the minute as well, the customization options are real. Everyone lacking. looks the same. And I thought it was the pers like, personalization was going to be, hey, get a cool helmet and look like a cool vest. Yeah. That's what I want to see. Definitely. I want them to get silly with it. I want them to not take it too seriously. And right. there are already a couple of things like the the monkey with the symbols yeah. and like there are zombies in it. So it's not like completely serious. I compare it to the multiplayer where like there's all those like super weird, like tongue in cheek weapon skins. Like yeah. previous Call of Duty just had bacon weapon skins and stuff. And like, and yeah, it's a contrast to multiplayer where nearly every game you're unlocking something new. Yeah. And it's like, that is a real reason for me to keep playing. But in Blackout after 60, 70 games, I've unlocked, I think an emote and that's about it. And yeah. it's like, oh, I mean, it's still fun to play. I am going back, but I don't see me playing it long term unless they keep it fresh and make me make me want to show off what I have done in the game other than my echelon level, which at the moment doesn't really mean a lot to me. So now I've chatted a little bit about it. Um, who would you, if, if I'd never played a Battle Royale game before, which one would you recommend? And if there was people that are dedicated to Fortnite who are interested in trying something new, why would you recommend them Blackout? I think for newcomers, Blackout might be a bit more accessible just because of the Call of Duty heritage. I think for Fortnite players who are looking for the next step, for like something a bit more uh, strategic and challenging in terms of like shooting and, and that kind of more realistic experience. Blackout is a good option if you think you're going to get value out of multiplayer and zombies as well because it is a $60 game so and F Fortnite's free so it, it's a difficult one to weigh up really because there, there are benefits on both sides but which one would you pick then? It's, it's a weird one. Getting into Fortnite now is definitely a challenge because there's a lot of people out there who mm. play at super high level and sometimes you'll pop around at someone and then all of a sudden the Taj Mahal is built around you and you're like, okay, I guess I'll die. <laughs> if, if people are playing Fortnite and they're at least tempted to buy Call of Duty, this is a really good palette cleanser. Yeah. Um, because it's it's nice and quick, it's arcadey. One thought I had is that actually, it depends on the system you're playing. I think PC, Fortnite is a better experience, whereas I think Blackout is a more accomplished and, and better experience on console. And there's going to be yeah. people playing on both, but um, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's my take on it, really. But there's probably going to be a lot of people out there that disagree. I feel like there's Battle Royale is a pretty hot topic and people are very loyal to the games that they've spent a thousand hours in. But, you know, we look forward to hearing your thoughts so you can leave them in the comment section below or you can find me on Twitter at Irregular Dave and Bill. I'm The Quiff is Dead. And for, for every other argument and discussion, make sure you come back next week for more Versus. Blackout has helicopters. It does have helicopters. <laughs>